take the water bottle off and we're going to give that a wash clean and fresh water and we'll do the same with that one but we do it one at a time we never leave them without any water then what we're going to do is empty the cage on one side As you can see it's all mucky 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 over there so what we'll do is wrap up that bath mat get my little boy out of the way picking up any stray hay and poos anybody's got guinea pig's nose you know you've got to get in there So what she's doing is just going around picking up stray poos and then folding that up. Empty that into the bin. Then we've got a little mat in that top corner because they do like to lie there. So we'll just tip that on the other side and then put it back. Sorry, big fat fingers in the way there. Put that back and then pop the bath mat back. By doing one side and then doing the other, the guinea pigs can hide. Them in here, we have Milo in the bottom, Dobby on the top. So, here we have a horse wash bag, it's off Amazon. We got the biggest one we could get, and we put a scoop of powder in here, which is a non fragrance um, detergent. And we put everything in here. He says that bath mat was wet, so don't take any chances. We've got lots of bath mats, we've got a new one in, pop that in the bag. Meanwhile, Chloe's putting that side back. Then what we'll do is we'll move on to this side. So I've literally just put in some fresh hay this morning because I had some things to do. I couldn't clean them out straight away, which I usually do do. But I thought, well, while Chloe's here, what we'll do is video it. So take them out. We'll sort them out in a memento. Dobby, hey, oh yeah, hello garden, hello little darling, how are you doing? Back over to this side then, so we need to empty this, so we have a tunnel and a little, it's a shower rack that I got off Amazon. I thought it to be bigger and it's not, but as you can see there's lots of poopies on there, they love it. Normally I've got Milo on the bottom and Dobby on the top, he's just jumped off and brought the little mat with him but we just pop some little mats on there so what we're going to do exactly the same on this side guys we're just going to roll up the bath mat and shake it like I said during all this time we are checking that it's nice and dry if it isn't then it goes in the washer and we put down a new bath mat and that's it that is a high traffic area because like I said it is where they sleep and it makes the liner underneath go the full week, sometimes even a fortnight, by changing the bath mats halfway through the week. Chloe's just shaking out that bath mat, so I'm going to video some pigs while she does that. Right, she's telling me that that's wet, so that will go in the wash basket. And we'll put down a new one. Hey Milo, hey little man. Oh, yeah. He is gorgeous. Right, let's get this done. Pop that down. We've got a pillowcase here and it catches all the hay out of the kitchen area and it shakes straight off. I need to go and get another pillowcase from upstairs to be honest. They're old ones, the ones that we actually did buy for the piggies but they're upstairs in a drawer. I need one for the girls area because they've got fleece on their side and it sticks to fleece. So we've got a couple of little uh, fleece mats in the bunk bed. I'm gonna pop that back and then we 
jam the tunnel right up to it and it helps Dobby get to the top. Also gives them a little bit of shelter and pull down the fleece and gives them a bit of privacy. They love it. I need to get a bigger one though. It's no good when they're this small. So that's it for this case. We just need to do the uh, kitchen area which we will do in a minute okay so here we have the kitchen areas but i'm feeling this and i can't actually save any of this if i could and that was dry i would actually lift that out put that to one side but it's not it's all wet so i have a bin here and what i will do is empty the contents of the whole of yesterday i normally do this every morning and the whole contents will go into the bin kitchen roll just get out any loose bits same here just remove any loose wet bits that are in there okay now i am a bit anal i'm afraid i need to tidy up so pull that into a corner for the minute do also have two young dogs, so I don't want them running through it. So I have paper, and I will put a couple of pieces of paper into each. It's normally two, and this gets done once a day. Then I know that majority of their business is done in here because guinea pigs do their business, we and poop when they eat hay, eat and sleep. They don't do it while they're running around as a rule. So you can't actually toilet train guinea pigs, in my opinion. And I've done a lot of research on it. All you can do is just encourage them to do it in one spot, which is what we're doing. Now that's paper, okay? And that will get absorbed. However, it can smell. So, I have in here some Zorb. This is what they use for horses. I have a cup and they have two cups each. And this is to reduce the smell. It also saves my washing. By doing this, I only need to, you know, do a full cage clean once a week. And sometimes I can go 10 to 14 days. And it's all because, and this is my opinion, that I do this. It absorbs the peas for 24 hours. I don't need a lot, just a little bit. Now, it'd be wherever they jump in. So if the hay's up here, there won't be a lot of pea there until they trample it down. The pea will mainly be here. It's not meaning there isn't any. I'm just saying that majority. Okay. So next up, I have meadow hay. This is a much softer hay. And I get this from B&M in the UK. And it is a pound, a bag. So I only put a small handful in there. Something nice and soft for them to get in. And like I said, I'll put the nice Timothy hay at the back. I'll put a small handful at the back and it is only a small handful because I will put this in and this amount half a dozen times a day. We, put, we are in all day, either Chloe, my husband or I. So what we will do when I pass and I put handful of haze in many, many times during the day, they will eat it. They'll come straight out. And that's what I want. I want 80% of their diet to be this stuff. And I want them to eat it. And the only way I can guarantee it is when, like I said, Chloe, myself or my husband pass, we'll give them a handful of hay. Right, okay. So this will then go in the cage. So here we are. Nice clean cage. I've put the hay trays in there. The little kitchen area, as you can see, I've put the green timothy hay at the back make sure they climb in 
you're about to get a demonstration like that and eat away guys this is the end of the video i'd like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for watching today if you have enjoyed this video would you mind please hitting the thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already i would absolutely love it if you would until next time bye